Rip Tip Nation, which I think I'm going to start calling you guys. Uh, it's Ben Morrison, and as you can see, I've begun making some changes around here. Um, a lot of you guys, when I asked for comments on the Joytech video, really opened up, and uh, I think I've tried to get back to everyone at this point and respond to all the comments individually. You guys really had some nice things to say and a lot of creative criticism. And the big thing uh, that was said was that you guys would really love a vape vlog. Which I think is actually a really good idea, because it gives me a chance to just kind of talk to you guys about vaping. Nothing in particular, you guys can get to know me a little more. And I can just vape on all this crazy ass hardware that I'm using right now and just tell you what it's like and just kind of talk about vaping, because Lord knows I do enough of that already. Um, another big thing was that you uh, you thought uh, some sort of backdrop would be good. I think that's also a good idea. I broke out my green screen, um, which I just had. And uh, I will, of course, be getting a better studio backdrop once I come up with an official Drip Tech logo. But this thing is t is an, an evolving art, as it were. So for now, it's a green screen. And if any of you guys want to download the video and then green screen some wacky shit behind me, go ahead. Maybe me, like, vaping on the Iron Throne or, like, on a waterfall. Who the fuck knows? You know, you guys are creative people. I have no idea what you can come up with, come up with, or don't. I don't, it, it's totally up to you. You're probably just enjoying your 4th of July being like, what's up with the green? But I think it's a little less aggressive. Why am I self-doubting? Why am I doing this? I shouldn't self-doubt. I'm just here to vape. That's what I'm, I'm vaping right now. This is a vape vlog where I'm just going to rant about vaping and vape on shit. So there you go. Uh, first off, <clears throat> a lot of you guys have mentioned uh, my comedy. Thank you very much. I just finished redesigning my website which is benmorrison.org, and there's a ton, a ton of content on there. So if you like what I do at all, check it out, the all-new site. It's a lot better and a lot more content, easier to find, blah, 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 on there. Uh, so go there or don't, I have no idea. Um, whew. <laughs> I have the light now, and it really gets the smokiness out there. Um, yeah, man, this is the Heracles. I got some juice from Mount Baker Vapor. They sent me some juice to review. I have a lot of videos to do. They sent me some juice to review, and I really like I really like the Guar line of juice. I'll be reviewing the Guar line of fluids, which are really phenomenal. And a lot of people don't really think Mount Baker Vapor has like kind of top shelfy type juice, but the Guar line is really exceptional. And their uh, the chocolate, the German chocolate beefcake, right here. Uh, is, I think, my favorite chocolate ever. It's very coconutty. It's very chocolate and coconutty, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. I've, I've, I've bought it many times. And this is their Spew line. They have, like, they have Gizmo Goblin, they have Spew. Uh, all their names have a slightly sexual connotation to them, which I think is totally cool, you know? Vaping and boning. Who doesn't like a good, who doesn't like a good vape after a nice bang sesh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Lord knows what, when I'm done, I'm like, wow, I'm going to get some baby wipes and uh, I'm a vape because that was good. I'm going to blow clouds all over my shame. <laughs> this is on the, the Heracles has really just been a phenomenal tank. It's been super reliable. I got some bum coils in the beginning when I got it, <clears throat> but it's held up really well and it is a cloud machine. So, I haven't uh, checked out the other, like, high wattage sub -ohm tanks, like the the Arctic and the Matrix and the Star. I think the last two are, like, kind of the same tank. But as far as the one I have, the Heracles, I've been extremely happy with this. It's a quirky little tank, but it always performs. And the coils last a pretty long time, too. I have no problems with that. On my smock. Has anyone decided if this is smoke or smock? No one seems to know. I like smock. I like the idea that I'm wearing, like... A vape bib <laughs> made of uh, engineers in Shenzhen, China. I'm trying to get Smock to send me their new uh, X Cube 2. It's like a 160 watt box mod that has like Bluetooth and an LED. It, it's crazy. It like, you can control it with your iPhone. It'll auto reply to your emails. It'll do your taxes. It's the Smock X Cube 2. Um, hopefully they'll reply because I'm communicating with these people from like Shenzhen like I'll hit them up on Alibaba and I'll just write these random emails to people being like hello most honored maker of vape gear I am American comedian who loves vape much please send me shit <laughs> and they'll get back to like we are most honored to be in communication with vape celebrity 
comedian guy. And I'm like, please send, can I, can you send me some shit? And then they're like, no. And then I'm like, oh man, okay. Well, keep me in mind. Um, this is the Joy Tech. So far the battery has still been quite good. Uh, I'm, in a, I'm moving further into temperature control. I ordered, uh, I bought the small TCT tank. I couldn't help it. I have, a, I have a really bad habit of just finding something and then like deciding I need it right there and then just buying, especially on eBay. Cause like when you buy online, like, and you have to fill out your name and your address, there's probably like a good like minute and a half of information gathering that you can be like, I shouldn't do this. But on eBay, it's linked up to my PayPal. I just see it and I'm like, I want it, C click. And I'm like, it's on its way. Not what, what can I do now? So I gotta stop that. Um, man, the German chocolate beefcake is awesome. It's real good. I love this juice. It's one of my favorite juices ever. Um, oh yeah, this is the OBS TVCT, and I did a review on this where I called it the best fucking sub -ohm tank. It's one of my earlier reviews, and I obviously hadn't tried that many sub -ohm tanks. It's still a very solid tank. The coils... Uh, I have found did not hold up that well over time, and the coils were just kind of meh. Uh, and they had an RBA section which didn't ship with this, but I, I bought that too. Uh, mainly because I want an RBA section for the, all the tanks that I'm not, like, wowed by their coils. And this is pretty just common knowledge, but... Um, anyway, I bought the RBA, and I built it out today, and so far it's really good. And RBA is especially awesome for sub -ohm tanks because, of course, you can throw a nickel build in there and uh, use temp control whenever you want to. So um, I would say having an RBA section for a tank that doesn't have like the world's best coils is almost a prereq at this point. And just send it with the stupid tank. Enough people are doing it that if you don't, you just seem kind of chintzy, you know what I'm saying? But this one so far is, uh, I just I love the tank. I think the design is really nice. It feels good in my hand. I like to hold it by the glass and kind of swing it around which is ultimately how I'll wind up breaking it, but until then, why the hell not? 31 watts, 0.85 ohms. You know, you notice in Game of Thrones, Quiburn, who uh, Cersei employed to resurrect the mountain, he's got like an ohm symbol on his lapel. I bet he's a vapor. In fact, that I bet that's how he's resurrecting the mountain, is with vapor technology. You know? Clegane got mowed down by Ober and Martell, but what saved him is just blowing some fucking clouds all over that guy. That's what Quiburn was doing when Cersei was uh, in small council meetings. He was just pumping Clegane full of clouds, just huge clouds. I'm trying to learn how to do uh, rings. Not bad, right? I've decided I want to master doing vape rings because I spend so much time vaping, I might as well be doing tricks when I'm doing it too. This one's my favorite. This is, it's kind of funny. This is like, I call this like in a cartoon when you get really angry, you just pinch your lips and blow out the sides of your mouth and your nose at the same time. It's the icon for this channel. <laughs> Why does that make me laugh so much? Yes. Oh, I was going through my old bin of vape shit. Because I think it's kind of fun to, like, look at older gear that you haven't used anymore. Do you guys remember this? The Dovepo ELVT. It was, like, the first, like, um, indestructible mod, as it were. It just got so funny. Like, I think I got this, like, a year. Maybe just over a year ago. It was, like, 60 bucks. And it does, like, 11 whole watts. It can go down to one ohm. Um, I feel like all the gear that I insisted on buying like a year ago that didn't do any sub ohm shit is just useless right now. Unless I really want to revisit my glorious pro tanks, of which I have like, I don't know, like 10. I got into a big pro tank rebuilding thing where I had like, I had like a case with like four EVODs in it. I'd rebuilt whatever. The early days of vaping were a dark time. And for those of you new to the game, I hope you appreciate the sacrifices that we made rebuilding pro tank coils so you could just walk into a a B and M and pick up like your sub box kit and just swap out an OCC like that. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this thing, like, it's heavy as fuck. Although, compared to the Joytech, no, it's still heavier than the Joytech. This thing was heavy as shit. And there were, like, videos of people, like, driving over it with their truck and, like, chucking it off a building. And I get indestructible mods, but I mean, like, are you really going into war zones with your mod? Whatever. Good on them for trying. Am I right? Yeah, the Mount Baker Vapor, like, they come in, the juices come in pretty funky colors. This is the Jismo Goblin. Apparently, Goblin Jizz looks like neon blue. They do offer... Uh, clear versions of all the liquid, which is nice if you're not into food coloring. I don't, I don't really, I don't really care. It just makes your cotton look like a smurf jizzed on it after a while. But they taste really solid. Yeah, very impressed by the guar flavors. I will have a full review coming up shortly. People often ask me, what's my favorite current setup? I've gotten that question a lot. Because I have a lot of setups at this point. And I still gotta say, for going out and about, like if I'm gonna go out for the night, my current fave is the iStick 50 watt, this little fucking battery, um, which has not auto fired and exploded in my face yet. And I think the reason actually I never even had problems with that is because I got this like faux leather wrap for the iStick 50 watt, which you can get on jwraps.com. And the problem with the 50 watt is that juice was leaking from the tank into the firing switch and it would auto fire, which of course is a very bad thing, but the, this wrap is very tight around the button so no juice ever got in there. And aside from it, it's just been a phenomenal battery. I mean, the weight is really nice on it, the size is incredible, the battery life is amazing on this thing. Like this Joytech supposedly has a 5100 mAh battery and this has a 42 mAh 100, maybe 45, I'm not sure, either way. This thing refuses to die. The Joytag slowly depletes as I use it and would say keels over quicker than this one. Who knew? But my favorite setup, I gotta say, just being honest here, if you want easy setup, uh, is the Zephyrus and the iStick. Because the Zephyrus's coils are amazing. The stock coils. They're they're very they're round and they're they're a dual horizontal coil and they hold up really well. It has a rebuild deck too, which is extremely difficult to use. But just for convenience, it has top fill. Not the best top fill. There's like some stupid gasket you have to remove. Uh, and just coils. This is my favorite setup. This, this clip everyone asked me about too. These are clips that you can put on any battery. It fits in between the tank and the mod. They're from eclip.com. E-C-L-Y-P.com. And at this point, they're like a must-have device for me. I can't leave the house without it because I just wear them on my belt because I rule. I'll just be like, yo, what up? Going out. And I'll be like... Oh, you can't see that, can you? Stand up. If I can move the camera down. Camera won't move down. How do I do this? There's my belly. Whatever. You got the picture. E-clip. I love them. All right, we're we're like 13 minutes now, so I think that's it for uh, the vape vlog episode one. I haven't thought of a catchy name for it, so if you guys can think of like a name for the vape vlog, like the drip drip talk or some some shit like that i'm open to ideas and once i get a logo i'm gonna have an actual background because i do like the background it, it kind of makes it more intimate you know like what's behind me just nothing fabric or a waterfall if you guys want to do that totally up to you so that's it for the vape vlog i have a lot more videos coming up i've been very busy and i'm sorry for everyone who i didn't respond to their comments soon enough but i'm also a working actor and comedian that takes a lot of my time um so I will get to your comments. I will reply to you. Just give me a little while because I'm balancing all of this. And as this channel continues to expand, which I'm very happy about, um, I have more people to talk to. So until then, I am Ben Morrison for The Drip Tip. Remember, if your tip ain't dripping, you tripping. <coughs> Don't do that.